Welcome to my channel, Like Minded. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. So this is for your sun, moon, or rising sign. This is a timeless reading. So please take the messages that resonate and leave the other messages behind for someone else. Sagittarius, you are starting off with the moon card for your overall energy. Some of you Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising could feel a little uncertain, unclear about your path. Spirit is saying trust in the process. Really pay attention to your dreams, the signs that you're getting as well. There may be an energy of confusion around you or maybe you have multiple options. Spirit is saying like if you don't know what to pick and it's kind of up in the air, Spirit is saying don't make a decision yet because I feel like with the Empress showing up here, something is being uh, shown to you guys. Something is being created. Something is being birthed. This could be an idea. This could literally be a baby, but something is being birthed and you're soon going to come to this certain milestone or this completion with the world card. And it's gonna give you like a sense of direction, a sense of excitement and passion towards a new beginning um, that you are looking forward to go to. So for some of you, you may not even know how to connect the dot to get to this new beginning. You know, a new job, financial increase, promotion, new relationship, something new and solid for the long term. You're looking for something very solid. And I'm just getting the message of divine timing. Everything is going to fall into place um, in spirit time, not your time. So just be a little bit patient and, you know, really pay attention to the signs and the clues that you will be getting. So for your stone, you have stay positive. So if you're dealing with any type of negative self-talk or you're kind of like um, just giving yourself a hard time, not speaking to yourself kindly, remember to keep your thoughts and your words positive or constructive. That's going to, you know, really encourage you and uplift you with your energy and help you move forward instead of staying in an energy, you know, of anxiety or stress or, you know, negative self-talk. We also have health right here. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So between stay positive and um, health, for some of you Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, you know, maybe therapy would be helpful if you're dealing with any negative self-talk that is just becoming overwhelming. Um, for others of you, you know, maybe you need to focus on your health a little bit more. Maybe there's something that is a little bit out of balance with your health. Only you know what that is. Um, some of you could be getting some type of information with your health um actually deliver it to you so maybe you're going to the doctor or some type of checkup if you're dealing with some type of ailments you know maybe you're going to get you know um, a solution or a prescription maybe a holistic doctor as well but there is going to be some type of truth that comes out you're going to receive some type of clarity so any of you dealing with any type of health issues you know be patient know that everything is going to work out in your favor and just try to keep your your mental state um, positive or constructive affirmations may really help with that as well for some of you my guys are saying that you know as far as your health it may be painful it may be uncomfortable and some of you are just like really confused about you know how everything's going to work out visualize and focus on the end result of what you want to attract into your life So we're starting off with the Four of Pentacles. Some of you are holding on, holding on to your finances, holding on to, you know, the bit of health that you have right now, your comfort um, as well. But, you know, Spirit is saying that this is temporary. Whatever you're holding on to is temporary. Spirit is saying continue to nurture yourself and love yourself when it comes to the Queen of Pentacles. You are going to move into this energy of growth and expansion. You could be working with other people. Um, a group of people could be assisting you as well. You could be learning something new that is going to allow you to move forward into success and victory. So at the bottom of the deck, we have these six of wands. 
So that's really confirming to me that you are going to be moving towards this path of recognition and success. So if some of you are doubting that, if you're going to, you know, reach your goals or, you know, reach some type of success point, Spirit is saying, yes, you are. So let me clarify the Four of Pentacles. This is all part of the plan, Sagittarius, with the Knight of Pentacles here. This is the most successful knight in the deck. However, he is a little slow, a little step-by-step, -step, a little melodic. So when you're holding on, just know that this is part of the plan. You know, maybe meditation will help as well. Um, maybe some type of Reiki or healing energy with the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You know, this is a period of healing and change and transformation. For some of you, this may be very internal. It may not be external for some of you that are focusing on health it could be internal and external what about the three of pinnacles yeah so whatever that you're going to be either expanding upon learning you know new things it's going to be exciting it's going to be something that you're looking forward to um, Spirit is saying some of you could get some type of scholarship or some type of discount on some type of course. Um, I'm hearing my guides say take a chance on yourself and invest in yourself and learn a new language or learn something that is going to make you excited. Something that's going to really nurture your soul. Do something specifically for you. That's, that's going to be very important and very key. So I hope that these messages resonate. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please turn on your notifications so whenever I post, you get the notification. Wishing you all love and abundance. And until next time.